we're pretty much the average, you know, typical family. With the only exception that uh, my daughter can't have protein because it's toxic to her brain. And uh, I like to talk to cameras when I'm alone. And oh, yeah. My husband books concerts. And from time to time the phone does tend to ring when I am trying to vlog. Actually, every single time. But this time, I'm gonna let you find out who is calling. Be right back. Hello? Hey, babe? Katie fell asleep. Go ahead and, and eat with them. I can't meet you because Katie fell asleep and um, just bring me something back. And don't feel guilty because while you're gone, I'm gonna go ahead and video blog. Bye, babe. Bye. Hee <laughs> hee, we have time to be alone together. But other than that, our weekends are pretty stereotypical. We just, you know, spend them like any other family would. Occasionally, I like to take Katie for a spin. We take, uh, going out for a spin in the most literal of senses. differently than most of you is that every four months my husband my daughter and I have to take a trip to go visit our geneticist that's because Katie as I mentioned before cannot have any protein because she has PKU you can click on this link if you want to know more Katie's level of comprehension is just skyrocketing which uh, as a parent it's bittersweet you want your kid to become smart and grow up and develop and at the same time you want to have total and absolute control over your kid but as they start to develop their personality you find yourself giving in a little bit more than you originally would have intended like this who's the boss? okay that's pretty cold it's cold it's cold came out here to check the temperature of the pool and it's absolutely freezing. We decided that we would not get in the pool, but then Katie started throwing a screaming fit. So then I told her, well you have, you don't have a swimsuit on, you don't have, you're not wearing a swimsuit. Let's go get one. But I was just really saying it to distract her. So we took her to the car because we're actually really hungry and we want to go eat. And when she discovered that she'd been tricked, she was furious at us. So then Isaac and I felt pretty guilty and here we are in the pool and of course we did go see our doctor gibson that's his name dr james gibson in austin especially for children's clinic it was pretty standard checkup and everything went pretty well but katie has learned to despise those ear checkers i mean the moment she sees one she's just ah! but we're back from our trip and we're back to our pretty regular standard of living and i guess we'll just have to Make the most of the rest of our Saturdays.